Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza. Welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass. Today's video is going to show you my approach to resizing a window. So that's opposed to building a new one, dismantling one, rebuilding one. Um, so I leave basically the window intact and I take away the edges. Um, I'm not going to show you how I then put the lead on around the outside and finish it off because that's the same as with any job. So really it's just a look at the way I downsize a window, which you often get asked to do if people are having double glazing put in and they need a bit taken off all the edges. So I hope you find some of the tips and tricks in the following video useful. So this is how the window has arrived with me, which is a kind of shrink wrapped um, and cardboard. Better than nothing. It's actually in very nice condition. It's either a new window or it's been rebuilt. Now, where's my measurement? So I have to somehow centre it. Uh, it doesn't... It's not great in terms of placement. Uh, I think what I want to do is, is put, I don't know if you can see, put these green things up here which makes for more work but I think it would make a better window so how big are these so I need 65 let's call it 75 so I need 75 here so that's to Make sure we've got the outside edge. 75. So what I'm drawing in now is the outside edge of the lead. So I'll have to go through and do uh, where the heart of the lead is as well. So let's see where we come to from that. Let's double check. Five ten. Right. Ten. Five ten. Okay. So this is going to be a bit higher than central, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's a sort of principle uh, in design, which is you often have a bigger gap at the bottom than the top um, in, in terms of centering things on, on pages, actually, for art. Um, but like I say, because I want to get these in, that's really my only option. Um, so these will, these will go here like that. Now I need to do the measurements for the top lead. So I'm going to get a smaller ruler. So we want to come up 7 mil, And that will give us our heart. I'm going to make it 8 mil. So we're going to, this is the cut line here. We're going to do the same up here now. So we're going to come in 8 mil. Right, so we're going to cut to this edge. Okay. Now, what's the other measurement? This needs to come in a bit 
that's really annoying it's just like a tiny bit <laughs> it's basically where the outside lead is um, so that's the outside lead we need to come in uh, this is going to be our cut line So the first thing I'm going to do is cut through this lead and then I'm going to score and snap the glass. And I'm using my trusty Bosch multi-tool for this, which you've seen me use before. Got it. Just working loose the heart. So I've lost a little bit there um, and I will either use this piece to fix that or I won't. It will depend on whether or not it is um, a problem once I've put the lead on. So I'm now going to just get a piece of lead
All right, that's coming out 510 very beautifully, just under, which is better than over. Now we're going to do the same here. Double check. I'm always double checking. I have no faith in my ability to measure at all. Okay, that seems fine. I think I'm going to do it this side. I'm just going to cut this one on the small side. Um, So I've taken this a bit smaller. Because it's better if it comes up a bit smaller than a bit bigger. Although neither is a terrible disaster. Where's my grocers? Grocers, grocers, grocers. more like it's going to go in a front door, doesn't it?
so now it's cut I am starting to assemble it which really is very similar to every other stained glass window you've ever assembled the only slightly tricky bit is that getting all the pieces inside the lead in one go is harder because they 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 hit the flange and they don't go in so yeah a bit of jiggery pokery going on there so thank you for watching i hope you found some of the things you've seen helpful to how to approach a job like this um Check out my other videos for all the other bits you might need to know about making leaded lights. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.